Hello guys. <coughs> um, update today, which is I think the June the 24th, Sunday, um, just after 6 o'clock. After the mighty England absolutely walloped Panama 6-1 in the World Cup. Come on England! Um, I had a really hectic weekend. Um, I was at work obviously all week. Um, Friday night I had a gig straight after work. Uh, an hour's travel there, did the gig and then I, I was travel back, got back at half past one in the morning. Saturday morning I was at work at eight o'clock in the morning. Finished at quarter one, lunchtime, got picked up at quarter one to get to Norwich, which is a four hour journey from where I live, to do a Rat Pack um, gig, the full works, big uh, corporate do. Um, got back at 4am this morning, and then I got back up this morning to then go and do my big band sort of rehearsal at um, 10.30. I had to get there a bit early uh, and then that. They had to come and pick me up. So it's been really, really hectic. Um, we finished rehearsal a little bit early. We finished just after 12. It was about 10 past 12 and then my dad dropped me off. I didn't get to mum and dad's for dinner as I normally do because I just wanted to go home, go and watch the football. And also then go back up to work to pick my car up because I'd left that yeah there yesterday and just basically just relax in the afternoon. Um and so I've had something to eat and I've just come down and this is my first time for two days down at the allotment because I couldn't do anything after Thursday night. So let's just see if there's anything absolutely completely dead as a dodo. Um so this is the first look at the plot for me. As well as you so we're in the polytunnel um tomato plants are looking all right but they're looking a bit frazzled which is understandable they need to be thinned out um again ballistic i'm gonna have to tie them up um yeah, look at these they're going they uh, give them a good uh, watering now now because they've been watered for two days but they do say to, to give them a bit of a shock every now and again bit more concerned about these um, cucumber plants which are actually destined for other people and uh, pause it down there but give them a good soak and they'll pick up it's really hot in here as you would expect it's polytunnel look at this lot here bloody hell I'm gonna have to make decisions on some of these that one set out another branch it's split into a, water, a V, um, which I do sometimes do. And I'm going to have to actually pull this out. Um, maybe string it up and up that way, or just cut it off. It has got fruit setting, so I'm going to have to check that out later. What I might do is I'm going to do this video as a pre, and then I'll do a video later when I've done some work or try to do as much as work I can before I collapse. Because I am, like I say, I'm absolutely shattered and it is so hot. Um, in fact, I've just reset this actually. Um, it's 38.2 in here at the moment. These are perked up because I did soak these um, before I finished. I got so many to my plants to give away to people, people just haven't really come to me. Which is a shame really so I'm just gonna just gonna put the, a lot of these out in a bed which I'll show you in a minute um, I'm just gonna put them out if they die they die if they don't they don't great onions spring onions kept moaning about those beetroot as well and this go out um, basil's gone ballistic I love basil so I'm gonna have to do them in chunks I'm gonna spend the rest of the night here until it gets dark I'm not even gonna bother watching the football for the next match because the mighty England one, I don't care about anything else now. But yes, that one I've got to just think about. And then as I said, right, I've got to take a lot of the leaves off the bottom to get some airflow. So before everybody says I'm going to get blight, I do know. Um, but as they grow up taller, right up to the top, I'm going to take lots of the branches off the bottom. So there'll be loads of airflow at the bottom. But you can see a lot of them. I mean, look at this. Look at this one here. My God. How many blooming... I mean, 
I've, which one's that? Idle. Oh, it surprised me. Idle, little, diddle. Um, can never pronunciate it because it sounds like little as in the superstore over here in, uh, well, in Europe mainly. Um, but it is prolific. Um, the 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 li not tiny tinies, but they're like sort of mm, just a bit bigger than cherries, and they go they do go ballistic, and they last for ages. I had somebody that uh, the land um, actually the the brewer in my local pub. We had some many years ago off me. We couldn't believe they kept going until November December in his conservatory. So they're really good. Um, That's a, that's actually, I don't know what that is. That's just completely just gone um, very strange. Um, the idea as well is to get all these watered now, do all the pruning if I can, and also shift all this rubbish here, sort it all out, all of this out, all out the way, and then get this staging moved over to there, so all these beds can then start being used properly. As I said, the tomato plants I've got left, which is loads, they're going to go outside. They'll be left in one of my raised beds. I might put a note on there to say if you want them, have them. Give me a list because they're all numbered. Um, I've took some home as well to grow in the back garden. Um, I've just thought as well, are they all right? Marigolds are okay. Calabrese needs to be done. And I've got some nasturtiums there. Somebody put some uh, sprouts in here as well, but they're uh, very, very dry. So a bit of water those. Sunflower se um, seeds. So anyway, let's go and have a look and see what else has died. All starting to wither. Courgette plants are looking very, very dry. But producing now, they need a good soaking, they will. There's a good weeding actually as well, some of them. Potatoes are doing great. And the others coming through. Don't tend to water those really. I tend to water the ones in the buckets. These are doing great. Very pleased with them. Um, I thought they would die because I forgot to move these. <coughs> it's my dwarf beans, I think they've killed these off. Let's move over this way and put them in the shade where the others are hiding. Which are also very wilted. And then we can have another look down here. Those are the ones that you all saw me do the other day. They're all alive. And they're all doing okay. Sweet core's doing great. I've got a very naughty butternut squash here. He started off in the wrong direction. You need to go that way, mate. <sighs> Try this one handy. That's what the string's there for. I think I said this in the last video. So we can trail them straight up the middles. Middles for diddles. But that's looking, these are looking absolutely superb. I'm, and I grew these some seed. Last year I bought, had to get some in. But these are looking brilliant. The great thing about this particular area, this is why I keep putting them in this bed, is that it gets shady this time of the, the afternoon. And it really, really makes it good for them. Um, oh great, these are doing a lot better, these are a bit weedy, but the rest of them are doing okay now. Um, broad beans, no black fly, fingers crossed. Get some bees going, peas need a probably good, really good soaking again. The new ones there. Beans here. Looking absolutely fine, just need a good weeding at one time. Tuesday morning, I'm on a late. So, I'll pop down tomorrow morning before work as well. Tuesday, I have to work till 8pm. Um, to those regulars, then I'll have to do a late till 8pm. 
If I have to do that, I don't uh, have to get in till late. Which gives it a bit of time for me to spend a couple of hours in here. So those are actually looking not too bad, actually, considering. Um, Music-wise, this week I've um, got real so tomorrow's normal. Tuesday night I'm free. Um, Wednesday night rehearsal. Thursday night uh, I've got a gig. Friday night I've got free. Yeah. Thursday night I'm doing a wonderful gig at Seven Valley Railway in Kidderminster, and it's a 40s weekend. And it's an old. St and for those who don't know what it is or where it is. Um, it's an old, um, it's part of the heritage steam locomotive part of um, Britain, basically. It goes from uh, Kidderminster up to Bewdley. It's all the old steam locomotives. So what they do, they do a 40s weekend. And uh, so everybody dresses up in uh, uniforms and that. And it's uh, all marked up with uh, various stuff from the 40s. It's a really good weekend. And my band, or the band that I MD, is on the night which is a big band and it all we do in all the uh the the, the glen miller stuff and also all the bits and pieces in the virulin medleys and some of the old good old-fashioned american tunes from the, the war um but because it's centenary i think it is for the first world war we're do, trying to do some bits of music from the first world war which is very difficult to find actually but we're trying to do that as well this year so um if you live locally, come on down. I can't remember how much the tickets are. Um, I think they're some like 10, 12 pounds for the evening bath. It's a really nice, um, really, really good. And it's, it's really good fun. I, I, I like doing it, to be perfectly honest. Um, we enjoy it, the band enjoys it. We do three sets, so that's really good. So anyway, back to the gardening. Um, bees looking a bit sorry for themselves. These are butternut squashes. Courgettes, and I still haven't put all those out, but they're all okay. I need to give them a good soak in. Um, lavender's gone absolutely. Anybody want any lavender? I can take some chunks off this probably. <laughs> Sage is doing great. These just need a good soaking. Bit else, and they'll be absolutely fine. Good thing about this weather, in a way. The weeds don't grow back quite so quick. I haven't weeded everything though, so might be a few weeds, but it uh, doesn't tend to grow so bad for that. Uh, the celery's got to come up as well, that's just uh, gone to seed. Um, onions, these bees, there's more. Are oh, they doing more, aren't they? I have no idea on flowers. Those are the empty ones, and these must be new ones, then, aren't they? Uh, fox liver, isn't it? I thought it was comfrey, but it's fox liver. Look how blooming long that is. And that's all. That's going to be all new flowers. I would have stake it up, really, hadn't I? Anyway. Onions. Uh, onions from sea last year. They're just... Some of them have picked up, but a lot of them haven't. There's no water. These have picked up since I soaked them. I'm going to soak them again tonight. So not say you're not doing it brilliantly, but hey ho. Um, the ones that are left in here to see whether they're going to sprout. Look, there you go. They have sprouted, so some more can go in there. Those are doing brilliant. Those actually, I don't know where I'm going to put them. I have to make a decision. Might put a few in there. Then move the celery and put it in there. There you go. Let's just put a weed in there again. So these probably got loads more strawberries to pick. I don't know. You get the shade at this time of year over here. So. Well, we'll wait and see. But anyway, that's what it's looking like now. And this is probably about 15 minutes. Yep. I do apologise, you're probably bored. 
But there you go, and I'll do another one in a bit.